Hey hey to all the amazing YouTube people, the Neomar here, another Star Sector video. I think you're all amazing because you like playing and watching video games. Hell yeah, I think that's really cool. Anyhow, you can create groups of ships using control and then number keys and select them using the number keys. This works both in combat and in the deployment dialogue. I mean that's fine, but usually like just click 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 click. Anyhow, let's continue here. So last time uh, we progressed the story quite a bit, actually talked a lot with people. Today we can go to Galactia and start doing the experiments or we could, you know, do the bounty we promised to do. So we got an elite mercenary here with some very, very scary ships. I really hope they have five more ships so that would bring it to three, five, six, eleven total and make it really easy. But, uh, well, not always is our information correct. So we'll be careful. Oh, military grained arms procurement opportunity. Yes, we're gonna grab some atlases here. Not atlas MK2 though. Uh, let's see, low tech. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. And then almost maxed out the pirates. That's really nice. Do you have any work? Ask about the old freighter. We're gonna buy it. There we go one rep and then we're gonna dismantle it like we usually do we have an officer still which needs wait we have an officer still which needs a name so if you want to be this officer let me know let me know the name i'm gonna name him after you or whatever you choose wait. okay let's uh break this thing apart so we're gonna go without these i decided we'll be using the the big ship so we'll be using this one here. No. Refit. This one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the Gamma Core in charge of it because that's gonna bring me to 100% combat readiness. If we put a better core in, it's gonna have less combat readiness. And I, and I think the 100% combat readiness is more important. As for the abilities, um. Uh, I think the shield modulation is really good, especially elite. Uh, let's see. This is not important. This. Not important. It's gonna be 100% combat readiness anyway. This. That's uh, okay. Okay. No. More damage to capital ships, cruisers, destroyers. This one is really, really tempting. Uh, then percent damage dealt with ballistic weapons and more range. No. If the system has... Sis oh, we're going to take system as expertise. This ship can teleport around. It's going to make it teleport around more often. So that's going to be good. Ordnance expertise. Flux capacity and flux dissipation per ordnance point. So which one of these two do we pick? More damage or more flux? Let's go for more damage and we can change it. So that's good. Oh, we can fully integrate. Integrate the AI core into the ship, increasing its level by one and granting an additional skill. After being integrated, the core cannot be removed by any means short of scuttling the ship. Oh, that's interesting actually. Hmm. I could go for this let's see how many ordnance points would we get here okay i'm gonna integrate it uh tykean lenses i think that are the best they are really really powerful and apparently we are really lacking in that department only one taken la lens left we should grab some more somewhere so double taken lenses uh how much to restore it you know what let's restore it there we go uh, large synergy, so we can put uh, mm. well this is a problem, I need more taking lenses, oh there's already one there wait what Sabot SRM pod, this thing is a beast This thing is a B. Cyclone Reaper Launcher. Squall Missiles. Do we put Squall Missiles on it? That's kind of silly, isn't it? 
Yeah, I think that's really silly. Hardened shields, can we build in? We can. <laughs> Must be my birthday. Okay, automated ship. This thing will be amazing. We need more taken lenses though. Okay, we're gonna put three taken lenses like that. I'm gonna put some auto pulse lasers on here. There we go. And I got some small energy turrets facing forwards. I'm gonna put probably tactical lasers here. I love that the tactical lasers. Antimatter blasters. No, no, no. Don't Neo, don't go there. No, let's be a normal person. Let's be a normal person. This will be a high energy range ship. Tactical lasers, there we go. Let's put some uh, Sabot SRM pods. Only two available. No, no, we have 15 more, good. Are you sure we don't have any more taking lenses? No. High intensity laser. 200% damage versus armor, 500 damage per second, and this thing, hmm. you know what, I'm gonna put these because they have higher range, so now all these weapons have 1000 range and that's a lot, and with the integrated targeting unit it's gonna increase by 60%, uh, okay let's see what else do we have here, neural integrator, what the heck is this? An augmented version of neural interface that works with automated ships but enabling direct control of all the ship systems via the link. Instead of having the controlling consciousness, expect simply direct the bridge crew. Link the flagship with another ship along switching between ships. Oh. Both ships must have a neural interface and not be commanded by an officer or an AI core. Transfer is instant if the combined deployment points of the ships are 50% or 50 or less, but they are not. Okay, if the link ship is destroyed or leaves the battlefield, the flagship will establish. Wait. You're telling me I'll be able to fly this thing if I take the neural link skill? Okay, that sounds very good to me. I mean, I don't care about if the link ship is destroyed or leaves the battlefield, the flagship will establish a neural link with another ship with a neural interface. If the flagship is destroyed or leaves the battlefield, command will have to be physically transferred to another ship with a neural interface before a new link can be established. Both link ships benefit from your personal combat skills as if you transferred command to them, regardless of which one you're controlling personally. As we transfer command, some skill effects such as those increasing ammo capacity or other fixed ship stats do not apply. After the transfer is complete, target ship system cooldown, if any, will be reset. If the ship system has charges, it will gain an additional charge. This effect operates on a cooldown equal to 2x the cooldown charge regulation time saved by it. Are you telling me I can like fly into the, sh the fight with a shuttle, then transfer to this thing via a neural ring and then fly it? That's really good. Neural integrator, neural interface. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, this is the downside, right? You have to pay you have to pay 50 deployment points for it. I think this ship might be worth it to control personally though. The 50 points. Okay, advanced optics. Extends the range of beam weapons by 200 but reduces their turn rate by 30%. Cumulative Ooh, that's nice. Okay, hardened shields. 
I'm gonna build in the hardened shields probably here anyway. 25. What other stuff can we add? Not that. So this one, not for now. We cannot integrate it anyway. Heavy armor, probably not a good choice to put it on this ship. Reinforced bulkheads, operation center. Expanded missile racks. Unstable. Well, this might be useful for all these sabot pods, but I'm just put them in for a for a test run. I probably want something else here, like iron beams, maybe, or I don't know, graviton beams. We'll see. And in that case, like integrated Tartic in Unique, advanced optics, and hardened shields would be my choice here, right? I'll put hardened shields in for sure, right? This one's... Eh, I don't want all three. <laughs> Titan Shield is so good. But we can't go with this, right? 60% range of ballistic and energy weapons. Yeah, let's take that. And let's wait with adding more stuff for now. Okay, let's uh, vent it up. Let's flux it up. There we go. Capacitors up. Okay, well... Drone battleship, 60 deployment points. Let's see, what can you do? It's not really good that you came so close to the Paragon and you're fighting it head on. You should use your mobility. Also, you have sabots and you're not using them. That's so weird. You're losing, dude. You're losing. Yeah, now you teleport around. Yeah, really. There we go. Sabots finally. Ugh. You are an officer ship fighting an officer ship. This is so. Can we fight it? Fly it? We can. But I think we can only do it in simulation. I don't know. Uh. This just shows how powerful the, the Paragon is. Hmm. Yeah, well, we, when we fly it, it's better. There. Although we have limited ammo on the thing, but you know. You know. You know, not bad at all, I'd say. Yeah, I love it. This ship is so annoying just because of this like ability to like teleport around like paragon here is really at the disadvantage okay i wish the ai could like so aggressively teleport around on it but it will teleport away from enemies which is really good now this don't really work that well though it has to come really close not sure i wanted to do that considering what we just saw So if I put some Graviton Beams in, would that help me win the fight? Uh, let's see. 
Iron Beam, 1000. Iron Beam. Two Iron Beams. Do I have another Iron Beam? Oh, I do. It's a little bit expensive, though. Uh, or is one of them enough? Let's say one of them is enough. There we go. Okay, dude. Second try, good luck. Okay, so we're gonna let the AI fight it again. This time we have some additional beams. Uh, hopefully extra damage to shields. Will help win the fight here, although it doesn't seem like we're winning at all. <laughs> uh, problem is this thing has the uh, the fortress shield that's using. Hmm. Huh. We have like no hard flux yet. Such a noob, a noob core. using the <laughs> so basically this is so silly right <sighs> I mean it's still gonna do well right so what I wanted to do is like uh, just stay at maximum range and not shoot the Tachyon lances and like slowly build up the flux of the enemy while not getting fluxed up myself okay let's see ideally I don't want to be in pulse lasers range though Or the range of that thing. Hmm. It's not so easy though, is it? Keeping the appropriate range. Yeah, I'm too close, aren't I? There you go. We're faster, so should never happen that this thing can like shoot at us via yeah, its powerful lasers anyway. If I turned on the Tychian lenses though, yeah, the Tychian lenses cause so much flux that fully fluxed us up. Maybe I should not even use the, the like, uh, Intensity lasers. Oops, I did not turn the shield back on. This is so hard, even for me. Yeah, yeah I will never be able to pull that off. Although we are in a really good position right now. <laughs> so because of high intensity lasers, it cannot really drop the shields. So once once we win the, the shield fight, we're definitely gonna win the the armor fight. Now I'm not sure how my ship's gonna behave against the AI. It's gonna be a messy fight. At least I hope it's gonna be smart enough to teleport away. That should be the biggest advantage of this ship. That it's gonna teleport away when the things become bad, right? There we go, we are starting to break through. Okay, it just shot its taking lenses, that means we can drop the shields a little bit. There we go. Okay, we'll drop the shields now. It can't shoot. 
Yeah, it can, but it can't. I don't know. <laughs> it has way more armor than I do, it seems like. That did not really go as well as I hoped. Yeah, I was impatient. I started dropping shields a bit too far, fast. And now it's like trying to run away. Oh, you covered. Come on, engines. We can also do that, I guess. There we go. Nice torpedo you have there. Would be a shame if I had shield to protect from it. Mm, okay. Well, this will be the safest option, right? Some graviton beams. No, like, uh, point defense, but... Dissipation is, like, way lower than the weapon flux. That's the problem. But that's one of the problems, anyway. Resistant flux conduit. It decreases the amount of damage taken from EMP weapons. Also increases the ship's flux dissipation rate when venting. Okay, I don't think... Let's drop that and go for more flux capacity. That's such a small difference, though. Yeah, I almost feel, I almost feel like... We don't need so much flux capacity, so 35k. What if we drop to like 30k? That's like one sixth. Does that really matter? And we get like 35 points to suit something else useful on? What though? Oh, yeah, right. is something uh 2.1k and 30k 2.1k and 30k Ma. okay oh that's really good 300 more from ordinance i really need that flux dissipation although i think my biggest problem here is maybe the taking lenses. Yeah, they're really, really, really hard on flux. These are also. What about auto pulse lasers? Flux per damage 0 0.83. These are so efficient. But a low range, no. Yeah, low range, that's the problem. I don't want it to go so close to the enemy, that's the problem. <laughs> Look at me, 20 minutes tinkering with an automated chip. Um, hmm. So if we're gonna go ordnance expertise. We lose a lot of damage here. Plus range, though. That's so good. Plus 15% range. No, let's go. We have a lot of range already. Let's go damage and ordnance expertise here. Okay, let's fully integrate it. I think it's doing well. There we go. And we're going to take the damage. There. So now we cannot, like, remove it from this ship. It's, like, stuck in it. Okay. Only question is double taken lenses, one taken lens, three taken lenses. Should we put some auto pulse lasers here like that? And then maybe one high intensity lasers like that? That might be good. And also I could put some tactical lasers around. This will increase my uh, flux dissipation a little bit because of the thing I have. Uh, there we go and also help with like small fighter craft stuff like that you know okay we got six more points uh, what's better than these burst bd laser Sure. 
burst speedy laser. That's gonna be 320 exactly. Okay. Uh, right. Hardened shields, advanced optics. Okay, let's go like this for now and we'll see. And I'm gonna give it more story points if it's gonna do well in combat. Okay, cool. Let's go take down that mercenary then, shall we? Uh, we might need some more fuel. Let's see. How much do we need to get out there? It's like around here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I cannot even get there. And back. Uh, storage, take. There we go. Okay. 12,000. That's so far away. Why did I take that mission? For glory! Yes. For glory. What's this? Go to the barrack system, right? 6,000 fuel just to get there. Auxiliary full tanks. Okay. <laughs> we are like at our maximum fuel. That's so silly. Okay. That should be fun. Let's go. Take down the mercenary. I mean, obviously, like, there might be better builds for my... Uh... Yeah, let's refuel there before we go anywhere else. Obviously, I could like, or maybe we go to like Asconia first. Let's go to Kazarn. I don't know. I could put different weapons on it, make it like this blinking ship of that or something. I don't know, but I'm pretty happy how it looks right now. I did not really use a lot of fuel so far. So maybe we can just go to Tile and refuel there. And then from tile, it's gonna be way closer to get to the uh, to the thing. So we should have plenty of fuel left over. We have 10, 10 million left. Yeah, really using a lot of cash to get this one going. This will totally not be worth it though, but... <laughs> for glory, for glory. I think this is the hardest mercenary fight so far. Let's see. How it compares to that Tesseract fact, the fight with it and almost got destroyed then. Okay, this thing does not have a lot of fuel though. Well, it is a little bit. Madeira should be a big planet though, right? Hopefully. This Cibola thing, yeah, no. <laughs> like I'm a small planet. Hmm. Oh, this one has the fuel, that's good. Okay, good. Now we're good to go. Uh, everyone wants to talk to me. Maybe give me some interesting missions. Nope, not pirates. Thank you very much. Okay, elite mercenary, your time is nigh. We are bringing an automated chip to fight you. I really wonder how it's gonna do. Uh... Intel. Okay. How mu how far? Four thousand fuel. That's good. We're gonna have four thousand fuel left. So if you wanna do some exploration, so I don't know. Should we rush back and do the um, story mission, or should we take a break one episode from story missions just because of how much time already passed? I don't know. We'll see. It was definitely not planned to skip anything here, but. Uh, 750 upkeep only. That's not a lot. Why is this so... Wait, what? Uh... Yeah, something's weird. This should be 2250 market upkeep multiplier why is there a market upkeep multiplier i'm confused now oh, you're making some money so let's upgrade to megaport here 
Oh. Oh, we're gonna build those later. Let's go. Maybe we can hitch a right here. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> ah, this is so sad. We find something that goes into our direction, then it ends right away. Well, kind of in my direction. Oh, right. We can also... Uh... Instead of this map, no, 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 this is the map, right? There we go. Turn off the starscape, then we can see the the things. Well, I'm gonna explore something. There might be some nice, like, um, building upgrades there, things like that. So that would be good. Oh, look, we got positive income <laughs> after buying all that fuel. Continue, don't stop until you see your repairs completed. What the heck is a don't stop until you see? Cheap prints. Okay, it could be cheap prints. I'm fine with that. Let's see how our cheap planes will do. 9,000. So it should be like 1,000 fuel away or so. No, we're basically here. The fuel estimate was a little bit off. No, it wasn't. It's okay. Oof. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. So it's just about right, 4,000, right? So, here's where the mercenary should be. I hope we can get our asses kicked. Let's see how our my ship's doing. Uh, mostly fine. Okay, this thing needs a little bit of repair. Why is the maximum CR of this ship 77% though? I don't understand. Why is it so low? Should be 100, no? Automated chip penalty minus 100, automated chip skill plus 100, basic maintenance plus 70%, crew training skill plus 7%. Mm, I see. That's pretty bad. Should we give it healthmanship? So basically this can give it... Uh, no, not that. Not that. This This can give it up to 15% maximum, but my fleet is too big. And this can give it 15%. I don't know. Let's hang around here a little bit to repair and stuff. Maybe we can go and explore the system before we do the fight. So, I don't know. Let's explore this one. Doesn't seem like it have much though. No, it does have. Okay. Let's explore the system. So it can like repair. I want to see it in full, full glory. And that's gonna take a while. A week or two, three. I don't know. How much longer do we even have before we have... Okay, 57 days before we have to do the fight. Hello there. We would like to scan this thing. Abundant rare ore deposits. Oh, cool. Okay, another planet here. No ruins, no nothing. No, they say no God, no glory, right? Eh. Form a survey. Go think that's it for this system, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go out. I think this reduces the readiness. Yeah, a full ship, so let's not use it right now. So, ah, it's almost full. Let's go. Yeah, it would be nice if it was 100%, but... Then my fleet would have to be very small. And that might end up really, really bad when fighting a, such a strong mercenary. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is the the Sebastian's mission. Recover the instrument package from scavengers at one of the jump points. Oh, <laughs> Captain, if we burn now for the closest jump point, we might be able to catch them. Ugh. 
Where are they? I don't know. I don't know, I don't care. What's this? At one of the jump points? Okay. I guess. Are these the scavengers? Are these the scavengers? They're, they might be. They're friendly though. Confront them about the probe. We already have this conversation. Okay. We bullied them into giving us the probe. That's good. Okay. Let's go find that mercenary then. Let's scan this. Was the mercenary even here? I think it was, right? Unless there is like a system nearby. Nope. Let's see. Accept it. Uh, yeah, target is in the barrack system, so we're definitely at the right place. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay, they don't have many ships, so this should be easy. Although, they have some very powerful ships, so I'm worried about that. Hello there, moving to engage, transfer command, what should I be flying? Um, Aurora probably, right? Okay, let's see how the AI does. I'm gonna go in with my Auroras. Okay, ninja and chuck on my sides. We can go to 180 if we capture enough deployment points, so... Let's try to do that. This ship looks so small compared to Aurora. I mean, Aurora doesn't look small enough compared to it. Yeah, like this ship looks smaller. What the heck? Isn't it bigger usually? Well, that's what she said. Anyhow. Let's move out. It's so nice and quiet here. I don't know what will be the chances of grabbing this point, but I'm probably going to bring in another Aurora at this point. Ugh. I really don't like what's going on here right now. Okay, we're capturing real fast here. Is it because I'm in a Aurora class battleship? Ouch! Dude! Okay. Uh, well, they don't have... Okay, one of their ships exploded already. Dudes, I think you need to go and help my automated ship. Well, it's retreating and it has the face skimmer, so it should be... F okay, it's so hard to catch that one up. So I really hope, like, the, the AI will do its best to stay out of range. If it blows up, we're not gonna take it anywhere anymore. Especially against these very, very slow ships here. Yeah, why the, isn't it like jumping away? What the heck is that? Our rockets. Okay. Yeah, it's tanking with armor way too much. If the Radiants behaved like that against me, it would be so, so much easier. Tell you that much. I mean, these are powerful ships though, so... There are no pushovers, but that's more the reason to like retreat when it's time to retreat, right? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, blinking aggressively, that's a really good idea. I'm not happy, I'm not happy. We're gonna need to babysit a Radiant. That's the last thing I wanted to do. Mm. 
Oh well. It's all good until the Paragon shows up, right? Yeah. My engines are dead though. Why so aggressive, dude? Like, are they aggressive by default? I don't know. Okay, let's destroy this thing before the Paragon shows up. Oh, there's an onslaught, okay. Hmm. No, it's all good, I think. I mean, they have very few ships, so... Should really not be worried too much here. Da -da -da. Don't worry about that. That will really not be a problem. Hmm. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. I mean, the my Paragon would have problems, right? The, the problem with Paragon is if it gets in trouble, then it's dead. This thing should be able to teleport out. Although it's not really using that ability, but... Oof. That's not one, but two on slots. I wonder if it can deploy both of these and the Paragon. I guess not, so that's good. Oh look, it's Ninja's evil brother. Evil twin brother. So ideally here we destroy these two at the same time, so we don't have to fight one of these and the Paragon at the same time. So I don't know, I should like balance the damage out a little bit well scratch that apparently they can deploy all three of them um, and now it became really really important to kill something real fast ninja I hope you know that you have to retreat like ASAP I guess he doesn't. <laughs> ah, ninja, ninja. I should have told them the order, but hey. <laughs> oh, dudes. Yeah, it's a really, really powerful mercenary. Can we bring something else in? Eh, not really. I can bring this one. Just to help pad out the chances. I mean, I would play it differently if I knew that... Um, if I knew what exactly, I don't know. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Oh no, 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 no. Why am I so stupid? I don't know. I'm influenced by a certain rascal in my fleet, I guess. Okay, this is so funny though. Yeah, this thing has such a high range. Ah. Uh, the phase lance is going through the shield here. Really, really powerful paragon here with three story points. That's okay. We do this for the glory. After we like fully repair both, restore both auroras that blew up here, we're gonna be like at zero money earned from the from the bounty, and then that's without even counting the fuel that took us to get here. So. Did my ship survive? Yeah, it did. Okay, the AI ship's doing really good though against these onslaughts. I'm surprised. Maybe I should put some short range weaponry on it because this is retarded, right? It's basically charging enemies. It has like its range is like until here and look, look, look what it's doing. 
like all its weapons have like 1000 range before the um, before the bonuses well, except auto pulse razors but i put them in front so yeah well, i guess the auto pulse razors do change the behavior a little bit mm. well there goes the mercenary pursue them go and grab those there we go consider ship recovery Yeah, we're gonna need to like recover these for sure. Fun thing about this fight is that who ordered this? Oh, it was hegemony. <laughs> Two relationship points for this fight. Ah, this hegemony. This hegemony. That was the time anyway. I guess, well, we have these scanned. I already was here. Maybe go and scan these nebulas and then head back. I don't know. That's okay, I think. And then we're gonna go have a chat and progress the story. Nah, it's okay. I mean, I did that without giving orders. It's my own fault, really. But you get tired of giving orders all the time, like, I want competent subordinates, which play smart. And the, I was really hoping that Radiance, since it can use this face, face skimmer ability, that it's gonna use it smartly and more carefully. I mean, at this point, the way this thing was using the face skimmer, I'm just gonna take it away from it. And give it something more useful. No, not that one, this one. Combat readiness. 15% more combat readiness, yeah. I mean, the the other one is way better. But it's not using it as it should. Heavy batteries, okay. So if it's just gonna use it to charge enemies, then was the point in giving it cooldown on the face skimmer if i flew it i would like to have cooldown on face skimmer you can go behind paragon and laugh your ass off while you're destroying it but but remember remember it is good that ai is stupid otherwise this game would be way too hard to play like imagine all the ai ships playing as players it would be so annoying to fight anything They would like always hold formations. They would always like shoot for from for far far away range. Like attacking anything would take hours. And yeah. I guess the best weapons would become like high range weapons. It would become like a battle of attrition, really. And each fight would take like an hour or something. I don't even know how that would look like. Oh, Discord Research Station. That's really good. That's really good news. We get rewarded for exploration here. Hopefully it has some kind of nice blueprint, something like that. Okay, we're not going to recover the ships. There you go. Afflictor class. Missile blueprint. Squall. Well, only Afflictor. But, you know. I want to collect all the blueprints eventually, so every blueprint we find is a good blueprint. A research station. So they researched the... This is where the Afflictor was born. Or we can at least roleplay it as such. Well, I have a lot of fuel left. We should be fine here. I wonder what the Provost Baird will say. You did what? You went to the other side of the sector and I'm waiting for you here so we can start our grand experiment. After all what we've done, prepared everything, scanned the gates, I decide I'm gonna do a mercenary contract because fame and glory. And she's gonna be like, this is exactly that kind of cowboyism that we want to avoid. Neomer, don't you earn learn anything? Did you learn any not learn anything from my sup 
like uh, the my predecessor and I'm like yeah you know what just stock just stock whatever whatever I want to do a glorious fight and you're like yeah yeah, we scan this and I'm gonna head back. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm... It's like, the question is, like, did the AI ship do as well as two Auroras did? Probably not, right? I mean, didn't blow up, that's good. But to be fair, Ninja got caught himself in a really, really bad position, getting flanked by a Paragon. And I did nothing, absolutely nothing to help him out. I did not even tell him, hey, Ninja, there's a ship behind you. Just move a little bit downwards. That would be enough. I was like, nope, let's see if it's smart enough. And Now we're going to have like 300, 400,000 repair bill on the restoration there for that Aurora. Okay. Well, that's fully scanned. Let's do these two, then these two maybe. I don't know. At this rate. We'll see if we do any story here today. Let's see. Uh, well, we might. We might. It's gonna be like... And the bird said blah 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 blah. And we said blah 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, stories are overrated anyway, right? 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 Okay, so the red thing here, oh, this is a black hole. That's exciting, actually. I like black holes. The bigger, the better. Battle station, high tech at Remnant Moon. No. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Upgrade. That's so expensive though. What do we have here? A ship graveyard, a mining station. Mm, mm, that might be good. We learned about habitable world. There we go. Oh, the factor embryo. Oh, that's really good. Light industry. Low tech blueprint package. Oh, really? We don't know any of these. This will be amazing. This is only 20,000. Why is this only 20,000? We're gonna learn like five big ships, five weapons to build. That's amazing. This is a great find. I'm so happy I went here. Bam! Bam! We learned a lot. Nice. Plus the Biofactor embryo. That thing alone is gonna make us a lot of money each month. That's gonna be. Legend, wait for it, there we... Okay, there's something down here. Oh, that's a... No, that's not a planet. That's a... Combat freighter, right. Ooh, widespread ruins. Let's go! Bust. It's a bust, sir. We didn't find anything there. And look at that miniature black hole and... We got sucked into it. That's what you get for um, <laughs> uh, for judging things by its size. That thing really had a drag. Dragged us into it. We lost a bunch of supplies for that one. That little maneuver costed us 20 years. Anything here? Well, it's a blue giant. <laughs> it might be a Tesseract fight. Nope. I don't see one. We'll probably be able to scan it if it was on the other side as well. So let's move out. Okay, these two next. Let's set back to the civilization. And this is definitely not the best route, but we're gonna be fine. Yeah, this part is really hard to explore. Okay, seems like there's nothing here anyway, so it's gonna be just a short jump in, jump out. Mm. Okay, let's get closer to this beautiful, beautiful star. Why don't you have any baby star for me to scan, eh? 
Uh, a G2 type primary sequence star. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're one of those annoying things. Look at your brother there. Or sister. Oh, discovered inactive gate. I wonder if we can still scan them even after we have six unidentified sensor contact. Minor weapons cache. Unidentified fleet. Is this your weapons? Psst, are you pissed? Hmm. Some pirates. I'm friendly with pirates, so they're not gonna touch me. If they touch me, oh look, explore the ruins. Hmm, one core. Such joy to be alive at this time and age. Mm. Oh, hello there, uh, dude. Really? Dude, I'm friendly with pirates. <sighs> I really don't feel like doing this right now because I'm on a mission timer. Well, not really, but I have plans. I need to go to the city, I need to have like a tank and I want to do the story today. So yeah, it just costed me one story point and I thought I'm friendly with pirates. You see, you can never trust pirates, starting with me. Right, well, I'm gonna learn that, we're gonna earn that story point back sometimes. Is this thing habitable? It is. Oh look. Ah, 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 should have blown it up real fast, but okay, let's go to the gate. So yeah, even if you're friendly with pirates, if they're big enough, if they're strong enough, I guess they will go for you. And what's that? Sensor array. Oh. Inactive gate. Let's see, can we scan it? Oh, we can. We can scan the gates, which we didn't scan yet, even though we are six out of six. That's interesting. That's not what I expected. Okay. Time to short course back to tile here. And I'm gonna go to Galactia and see what the pros bear things. Alpha Lagash. Refining. Mm, well, refining feeds into the heavy industry usually. Uh, sure, why not? It's gonna be a while before that planet starts making profit, but <laughs> these are like laying in wait pirate raiders. <laughs> See, these ones don't want to attack us. They respect the fact we have a lot of big ships. I don't know why that pirate attacked us in the first place. That would be a bloodbath if we fought it. Uh, command. Well, when is the last time I saved? This game sometimes crashes. This game, out of the games I play, this game crashes the most. Like, out of the games that I have series on. All the, all the other games are very, very stable and this one crashes, like, a lot. Okay. One out of one. Two out of two. One out of one. One out of one. Okay. Well, they're gonna grow soon, so... I'm gonna add some more industries to them. Right now, they're just a huge money sink, but you know, it's good investing into the future. Especially at, because of the rate at which sometimes I lose my auroras. Right. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a light industry here. And that plant's probably gonna get that bio, bio factory embryo. That's such a weird thing, right? Imagine. A biofactory embryo. Ugh. A biofactory embryo. Okay, we need some more fuel. Last time you were happy to indulge, so I hope we have some more. There we go. The price is also pretty good, actually. Are you a fuel producer? 
That's really good. What do you need? No, I'm not gonna put a spy satellite against around Nechiketa. You're like, ah, 45,000, it's just you go there, you drop a satellite and that's it. Oh yeah, by the way, nobody can see you. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to have your transponder turned off. Oh, by the way, good luck. Oh, by the way, I know the pay sucks, but you know. That's why we don't do those missions. I don't know who places all the satellites around here, but it sure ain't me. If you need a satellite destroyed though, phew, I'm your man. I'm your man for that. That's not a stealth mission. I go in, everyone's like, who's that dude? And what happened to our satellite? And, and weirdly enough, there's like no destroy satellites missions in, in this uh, in this game. Okay, Anahita, I'm back. Hopefully you'll be very happy. It took me a while, but I don't know, it was hard to scan those gates. I hope you understand. You scanned seven though. Whoops. Well, it's hard to count as well. Hello, Sebastian. Oh yeah, that mission we did for you. There we go. And he's gonna give us uh, a, an identical one right away. Hello there. Bear taps on for desk console with the gate scans completed and um, doubts assurance that the hegemony will not interfere, we may proceed to the implementation phase. The provost allows herself a small smile as she turns to you. This is Scylla's moment, of course. Let me link her in. Provost Baird, Captain Neomar, Kuros greets you. Explain the Genos device, Baird says, for the captain here. She looks nervous. The prototype. Ah, yes, she begins. In the um, broad strokes to scan for the gate aperture, we direct a self-modifying phase hyperwave pulse, which will cause a resonating in lower dimensions, which... Well, nobody understands the single word she said, but that's fine. She notices she's losing her audience. Yep, the principle of the Janus, prot Janus prototype is a similar but far more energetic. But turning the pulse to the unique resonance signature for a particular gate the aperture, one might theoretically, theoretically activate that link. A second input would then target a known gate uh, egress, though avoiding destructive interference in the Calabi, your manifold is tricky. And this would reopen the gate network? Baird cuts in. Not exactly. Thank you for your attention to details, Scylla, but if I may summarize. At this level of energy input, a temporary link should be created between two gates. Well, that's that's exactly what I need. I need to travel between gates and I don't care about your little project here. Oh, wait, whoops, did I say that out loud? The provost gets a distant look, then, with sufficient energy and stable resonance injected into the entire gate system. This time, Kuros interrupts, but the system... Okay, so I'm back. I just had a small distraction. Uh, where were we? Uh, this time Kuros interrupts, but the system, the resonance, is fundamentally chaotic. Mm. There are clearly some other some factors. We are seeing results the model doesn't account for. And the higher magnitudes the result could be... be. That's enough, academician, Baird says forcefully. The captain is a highly skilled professional and doesn't need to hear all of this to do his job. What exactly does chaotic mean in this context? Well, that's part we are worrying about. Bear turns to you, leaving Kuros code. Academician Kuros will return to work refining the details as more data is gathered. As a great man once said, technological advance is an inherently iterative process. Captain, she says, the first prototype Janus device is being transferred to your fleet. Test it on a gate manifold you have scanned. Record everything with your sensor suit and the modified instruments we have provided. This may be the most important experiment in the history of the Persian sector. Use the prototype Yanus device on a gate in an un uninhabited system outside of the core worlds. The manifold, of course. Chorus speaks up the last one time. Just, just don't use it in an inhabited system, like the incident when Kalakor, the hegemony, it wouldn't be good. Thank you, Bert says acidly, for the reminder, academician. The provost turns to you. Obviously, we shall not repeat my predecessor's mistake. Test this somewhere quiet. She turns from the hollow display, a dismissal. I await your results, Captain. Bear terminates the comms. Right. Well, I guess they learned something from uh, from the fiasco that happened last time. 
Oh, hello. After a short wait, your connection request is accepted. Hello, Captain, Kuro says, her attention on, on a flickering bank of holographic data tables. I'm sorry I'm so busy. What is it you need? Should I be worried about this Yanis prototype? Several emotions cross Kuro's face all at once. Uh, Captain, all sciences... Uh, she sighs. No, I can't do this. What's going on? Look, the provost told me what to tell you and not to tell you. She was very clear about her objections to my attitude, about questioning her leadership, and here I am at the Galactic Academy. The hegemony still has a warrant out for my arrest. To say nothing of the League or Lord help me, the, per the patters. She's got me, Koro says. She takes another deep breath before looking back into the whole display. I wouldn't send you out with this prototype if I thought for sure it was a, a death trap or something. That's all I can say. She looks down and reaches to terminate the comm link, hesitates and... Um, good luck? Right, well... She was told not to tell me anything about the prototype. And, well, that sounds very scary, but I mean, it's a game, so surely nothing will go wrong here, right? Yeah, right. Anyhow, that's gonna be it for that. Now we have to go to one of the gates in uninhabited systems and uh, try out the device there. Um, Bell is the closest. So, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to Bell tomorrow. We're gonna use the the Janus device and see what happens. But we are getting closer to hopefully being able to travel between these gates, and that would be amazing. Look at that! Imagine being able to go there, 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 there. Too bad there is no gate down here. Like nothing even close to my R star system. Ah, so sad. Anyhow. That's gonna be it for this episode. Hopefully enjoyed my mercenary fight, even though a couple of my ships exploded. That went pretty well, considering it was a uh, hardest uh, mercenary yet to be fought. At least I think so. 690,000 uh, bounty. That's how we gauge how hard was it by the reward, right? And yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you're, if you're looking forward to some more, then like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Numer signing out. Bye-bye.